ever mash the pedal on the right in your car and wonder what the heck is happening under the hood? How am I even moving? Not really, dude. Ever freeze up like a deer in the headlights when someone starts talking about an engine? Mm, nah. Don't you just wish you had a basic working knowledge of a four-stroke internal combustion engine? Where'd it come from? How's it work? By the time you get done watching these next couple of videos, you will. And you will derive tremendous satisfaction the next time you're cruising down the road. After we have attained this enlightenment, we'll ask a deeper question. Is there anything we can learn from this engine that can help us to lead a happy life? What essentially is an engine? It comes from the Latin word ingeniere, which means to beget within. Through its engine, an automobile produces energy or power within itself that enables it to be mobile by itself or automobile, an automobile. Internal combustion engines harness the chemical energy released by the controlled combustion of a compressed mixture of air and fuel and turn it into mechanical energy. Boom! Boom! The combustion is contained in a round cylinder within the engine block that has a piston traveling straight down and up in a linear motion. That linear motion is then converted into a rotary or rotating motion by the crankshaft. It's kind of like legs pumping up and down on a bicycle. Let's add a little historical context. In the 1800s, steam was used to power our locomotives and our equipment in farms and factories. However, in 1876, 11 years after the end of the Civil War in America, a man by the name of Nicholas Otto patented the four-stroke internal combustion engine. Utilizing this technology, Henry Ford later introduced the first affordable automobile to the American public, the Model T. From 1908 to 1927, the Ford Motor Company produced 15 million Model Ts. It became the longest production run of a single automobile model until it was finally surpassed in 1972 by the Volkswagen Beetle. We're so proud of all of our modern technological advances. We pat ourselves on the back to beat the band. <laughs> However, 150 years since Nicholas Otto's patent, and we're still using the same fundamental technology of a four-stroke internal combustion engine to drive our automobiles. Wow! Yeah, we can make it run a lot more efficiently than Henry Ford ever could. But if you go out today and buy a Ford Mustang GT, it's going to run on the same basic principles as the Ford Model T of 1908. In the next video, I'm going to demonstrate in a lot more detail how this blasted thing works. And in the third and final video, what it can teach us about ourselves. God bless you.